Hello everyone! Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI Under Black Shadow and in the uh, last video we um, got out from the Opera House which is way ways away now and we um, took a trip into um, uh, Setsu's airship which I actually forgot to um, show you around so I'll quickly do that. Um, you can have a little uh, walk around while you're, um, while you're sort of in the ship but I just went and took a trip to Setsu. Refreshments? That sounds nice. Ah, good. Alright, well there we go, he's um, fully healed us. Uh, don't know if he's healed anyways. Um, also, I want to quickly check something here. Yeah, for some reason, Celis has got um, no equipment. I could somehow quick uh, look through, and for some reason, she doesn't have any equipment on. I'd love to know why. Um, I'm assuming there's a reason? Um, sure. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's uh, to do when she was. Um, playing as Marie. Obviously, obviously she couldn't walk around holding a sword and a shield. You know, she was still wearing a white dress, wasn't she? Meh. Alright, this guy has um, a shop we can use. Uh, it's got some uh, bits and bobs, actually. Ooh, there's uh, some new items here. Uh, you got, uh, a few items here. So you got uh, this, the smoke bomb. And basically, you use this and it means you can um, escape from a battle. Um, I don't know if it means you can escape from battles which you normally couldn't escape from anyways. I don't think it works. I mean, like, if there's battles you can run away, you could use this and you can uh, escape on that instant, basically. I'll fetch a few of those. I don't plan to be doing much running away. And another new item here, the Warp Stone. Uh, stone. Same effect as Warp. Um, this is a spell you can find uh, a little later on in the game. And basically, um, if you use Warp while inside like a dungeon or a town or something like anywhere sort of like that, it will take you to the um, to the world map, which is kind of nice. I'm not going to be uh, buying any of those. Besides, we're going to find uh, a few in the near future. So let's actually show you around the um, actual uh, Blackjack ship. Yes, that's what it's called, the B the Blackjack. Uh, kind of a cool name, actually. I, I like this sh um, airship, to be quite honest. Um, it's pretty damn cool. Got a little engine room here for engine stuff. Um, and you got this room here. Remember, we've uh, we, we got chucked as we were in Maria. We came in through uh, that hole. Um, none of this section of the ship is um, important, although there is one section that I think I might as well show you. That is um, up these stairs. At least I think it's up here. I yeah, I think it's up here. Uh, what do you want? Equip supply members? Uh, so equip those not on our pipe because, well, we don't, they don't need equipment on them. I think they already were anyways. But yes, if we go um, into uh, here, yes, this is a uh, somewhat important area of the game. At least I believe it's here. Um, but later on, when we can actually use the airship, uh, all our sort of roaming characters will be um, going around this area. Not all of them, some of them will be elsewhere, but a lot of them will be in this where you can sort of change characters. A high set, sir. Kind of paranoid. Paranoid about what? So, so I, I don't exactly get what he means there, folks. Meh. Um, is there anything up here? Does this like take us to the deck? Yes, this takes us to the deck. Although it's all kind of quiet because we're not flying anywhere. Yeah, some interesting thing about the um the black uh, the blackjack is that you know this music playing at the moment um this is actually sort of sets as um, theme as you probably would have guessed. Yet the actual Song, I suppose you could call Blackjack. Doesn't actually play unless you're actually flying the ship around, or you're on the deck. A little weird, that. Yeah, we can't use the ship at the moment because we've got business to attend to. Um, also, one thing I suppose I could have said: um, before you go to the Opera House, um, you can, if you want to, go back to uh, um, go all the way back to uh, the Velt if you want to. Um, you can get some rages for uh, for Gore. Um, like the uh, slam dancers, like Ice Two and that and that. All you got to do to go there, well, I say all you've got to do is you've got to go all the way back to Nash, and then from Nash you've then got to go all, trip back down to the Leet River um, to wherever the heck that takes you, and then sort of find your way off to the Velt, which is quite a journey. If you're using Gorlot, I suppose you could have done that, um, but I wasn't, so I'm not. <laughs> that makes any sense. Uh, let's put a uh, pot like that, yes. Oh, and that reminds me, one last thing I want to quickly uh, clarify. Um, when you're in a battle, um, and you know you... No, I don't want relics. Uh, you know you're in battle now, and we get, like, um, 
Oh, she's an equipped stray. Good thing I checked. Um, and you get like the uh, magic points to help you um, leveling up your uh, bits and bobs. Yeah, don't um, don't confuse that with the uh, actual MP levels we have of uh, like says 192. When I first went through this game, I thought when it said like we got like two magic points, it meant it was like, actually refilling my magic point meter for about half the game. Oh dear. Anyways, so we are now here. Um, don't worry, I should just drop this off. You didn't miss anything. So let's head into uh, well this town we've landed uh, next to. Town of Oldbrook. Oh dear. Is there anyone who opposes it? What on earth's gone on here? This is Oldbrook, the occupied city. Ah, not good, folks. Well, yeah, you know, this is the southern continent. You know, the Empire basically owns it. Let's have a look in uh, here. See what well, they they got um, some new stuff to buy. Um, well, they're selling remedies now for a grand each. Uh, you won't need many remedies, to be honest. I mean, they're very handy to have sort of later on in the game when there's enemies start throwing more and more status effects at you. But we should be okay for now, I would hope. And yet again, they're selling warp stones, but, well, we, we don't need them. Um, is there anything here I don't need? Uh, the problem is... I think, yeah, I can sell some bits. I shouldn't have sold that. That was um, not ideal. I only got one GP for that. I, I think I'll live. I hope I'll live. Uh, Mithril Claw, we shouldn't need any more. I mean, folks, I could do with having a quick go through this um, and having a look to see what I do and don't need. Um, I could really do with that. But never mind, I'll, 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 I'll probably some point in uh, between videos, I'll just uh, quickly go through that. Uh, I'm not going to do that yet though, because, um, well, we got some uh, some stuff we might likely buy. Uh, we're, we're taking a trip to, uh, you know, sh another shopping spree, folks. Doesn't that sound fun? Uh, no, get back here. They say something valuable to the east. <laughs> oh, you bet your ass there's something valuable to the east. Oh my god. It's going to be one of the biggest treasure troves I've ever seen. But sadly, we, we can't get there, and you can only actually get there if you do something, uh, some very certain things later on, um, but I'll, I'll talk about that later. Sounds actually insane. What, what on earth is this music about it? They're... What in the hell? They're, they're, they're um... Okay, so, so, they're, so, they're, so they've obviously taken over the cafe, except there's some really weird people. Guy on the, so we've got this guy who's like... Pretending he's getting hit, got the hit motion. That guy over there is sort of the victory animation. This person's casting magic, and this person's just a moron. <laughs> I don't care what you say, an idiot. God Almighty, bro, what, what the hell are you talking about? God knows. Anyways, come back, um, come past here. Um, can we not go that way? Go go up the stairs. Great. But yeah, make sure to check this clock, because there's an elixir inside. Uh, this is the relic shop. Is there anything we want to get here? Don't think there is. No, uh, nothing we want. Although there is a new relic here, the amulet. Projecting poison, dark, and zombie. Um, some of you might decide to make use of that. I don't think it's really necessary, but that's just me. And yes, you can basically um, sort of treat zombies like being undead. We won't encounter that state effect for a little while, though, so it's uh, not a problem. Not in the way. You just stand in there, you idiot. No entry in the port. Ha! I can walk around you. Ow. Okay, you win. Never mind. Right, we got the armor shop. Ooh, treasure chest. You're telling me the Empire forgot to take these? Oh right. Maybe they did remember to take them. <laughs> Alright, let's see, you got anything I uh, might want to buy? Um, nah, nah. Ah, yes, there's uh, a new symbol here. Um, you know what I was talking about uh, earlier in the LP, about like the up and down arrows and the E means you've got it equipped. There is one thing I um, forgot to talk about, and that is uh, this equal sign. Now, the equal sign basically means that the, um, basically the, like the weapon or the armour, basically if it's the weapon, it's like the base attack, or it's the armour, it's the defence stat, but it's basically the same level as um, the one you already equipped. But again, it's just normal defence, it might not take into, uh, yeah, so like here, might uh, raise the MP a little. 
um, stuff like that. So it might not take into account stuff like uh, magic defenses or anything like that. I tell you what, I might actually give one for um, for a seller. She didn't, you know. I, I don't know why I'd rather have that than um, the uh, uh, the additional um, M HP. Um, sorry, MP is harder to come by. I'll buy one and some uh, ninja gear, which. Uh, Wow! You're telling me Shadow had that all the way from the very start when we first met him. He was holding, he had this ninja gear, and you can only get it now. Man, <laughs> I'll get one as well. I'll um have a look. Uh, let's have a look uh, what this, what this does. Anytime game. Right. Uh, so let's give Celis the um bar tat. Yeah, you see the evade's gone down a bit. Imagine defense ups kind um up kind of nicely. Though. That's that's not bad. And her MP has uh, gone up a bit. Actually, her MP's gone up a reasonable bit there. Um, let's have a look at our ninja gear. Yeah, <laughs> that's definitely gone up. Oh, man. I think I might be getting one more of those for, um, for old lock, lock here. Um, I think I'll, uh, I'll do that now. Come on, game. Anytime. And I'll, I'll just... Um, I'll, I'll quit for that. Quip him to that uh, off screen uh, at the end of the video because it's taking a little longer than I thought it would. Uh, is there anything up here? Nah, nah, not really. Nah, not really anything there. I think there is actually a guy up there. We don't need to say much. Oh, hi there. I'm Vincent and Miranda. Hmm. Maybe I'll uh, take a trip to them. Only have weak magical power. Oh, that's that's uh, good to know. Ooh, there's a potion in there. Nice. And in. Uh, we don't want to stop in here. 300 GP. Nah. Um, isn't there a weapon shop somewhere? Probably is. And I just get up, get out my way. Probably is, and I just haven't found it. Um, is it hiding down the left here or something? Vector, capital of the Empire, is at the centre of this continent. That probably explains why they've sort of conquered everything. Oh, there's the weapon shop, hiding. Tup tup game. Uh, let's see, we've got stuff here. Anything in the pot? Ooh, Tinksha, nice. One thousand years ago, during the War of the Magi, two so-called Atma weapons existed. One changed a person's power into the sword. The other was a monster bred for mass destruction. Huh. <laughs> so of course they can have no relation to this game at all. <laughs> Don't worry, we, we, we will be coming across both of those later. Alright, so weapon shop here. So we've got uh, a new weapon for um, uh, Cyan, the forge. Um, the poison claw, um, which... Um, actually, if you've got the ginger glove, it wouldn't be too bad to actually keep it on... Um, on a uh, salmon, actually, you could have him with this and the fire knuckle. That'd be uh, that'd be pretty nice. Uh, EP, that's a new sword for people. Um, Blossom, new weapon for shadow. I don't know if you can be still with us at this point. And a few edges, so I assume you can. Um, I'll um, I'll give Celis an EP. Um, I don't think I'll give one to uh, to Edgar there. Um, although I mm, I might I might change my mind off screen. Um, depends depends. Um, right, well, I, again, I know this one's only been a little bit of shopping and no fighting, but, you know, I showed you around that batch, I can that, and to be honest, this video really went a lot faster than I thought it was going to be, too. Um, so let's just uh, quickly, um, not do anything, actually. So quickly uh, equip people with equipment, and if I make any quick ch uh, changes to uh, what I'm doing, then, um, then uh, yeah, I'll uh, have a, I'll quickly tell you that. But in the next video, folks, we'll actually be exploring the um, the southern continent, um, you know, and seeing if we can stop the empire from its, well, doing something, obviously. Well, oh, rescuing the espers. That's what that's what we're here for. How did I forget that one? Yeah. So, anyways, um, so I shall see you in the next video, folks.